What is up with y'all? Seven on the track, and I'm back with another video, man. Y'all know I make these videos to help y'all get to that point where you don't have to work a job and you can be a full-time internet producer. That's what I call myself because we're all upcoming and we're all young and we all hate nine to fives, bro. That's not what we want. You feel me? So I want to talk about being uninspired and be blocked from two different perspectives. I want to talk about being uninspired from like a giving up completely standpoint and uninspired from, you know, you're sitting at your chair and you're looking at FL and nothing's coming out of your head. That's another type of uninspired and be block. But for the first uninspired, like giving up completely, I feel like that shouldn't even be a thought. I feel like that shouldn't even be uh, 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 a mindset that you should have, bro, because you have to have the type of abundance where you see somebody else doing it and you should be like, bro, I can do that too. If he can do it, I can do it too. That's how you gotta look at it. That's how I was looking at it. Last year, I had some trash jobs, bro. I was working at a Banana Republic, which is like an old Navy. It's like a clothing store. Surrounded by a bunch of old uh, white women all the time. I mean, it wasn't the most entertaining job because I didn't have anyone that was my age or even working with men. So like, I didn't have anyone to really relate to. So it was just really corny. But another job I had, I was working at a movie theater. I would say by far that's probably the worst one in terms of conditions, pay, and just overall morals. Like it was just a trash job. And then I was working at Macy's, which was actually wasn't the worst, but I was working with my dad also who has no construction business. So that was like labor. I'm talking about like, I'm coming home like with my hand on my back type time. Like, yeah, it was bad. And through all of that, I was still making beats. You know, I was still doing it. Um, you know, secondary while not receiving any money off of beats at all, bro. Like last year, I would probably get one lease every three months and y'all all know that's literally nothing. Like, so I understand that it can get tough staying inspired when you're in situations like that, but that proves that you truly love it if you do stay inspired throughout things like that because they say the things that you could do with no pay at all, that's really your passion. That's really what uh, can become your full-time job, you know, if you just keep pressing at it you keep doing it bro if you could do it without getting paid at all that proves that you really love it you get what i'm saying so i never really lost inspiration you know last year because i'm like all right this is what i want to do and i had that mindset of yo if he could do it i could do it too if this internet producer could do it i could do it too you get what i'm saying so y'all have to understand that you have to really swallow that principle and just abide by that bro just go by that if he could do it i could do it too do not forget that bro always and another thing I wanted to, uh, next I wanted to talk about the, uh, you know, sitting at your dog and being uninspired. Sitting at your dog and being uninspired is low key, uh, I don't want to say worse, but like it's, it's bad, bro. And it happens to all of us. Like it's literally inevitable. You know, you sit there and you're looking at FL and your mind is blank. Like nothing's coming out. So what I don't want people to do and what I don't, I learned not to do. I used to try to do this, but don't force it bro don't force it because all that's gonna happen is you're gonna make some trash or make something that you don't even you know you're not confident in that you're probably not gonna send out that you're probably not gonna post and it's just like bro you just might as well recharge so number one i'll tell y'all to just go outside bro like do something else it's okay to take breaks with this music stuff bro it's okay there's nothing wrong with taking a day off taking two days off like go outside nature go play a sport like just go do something else like it's really not that deep you know and i was looking at it like when i first quit you know my job and everything i was looking at it like oh i was looking at this like a real real job like i'm like bro if i don't make enough loops if i don't make enough beats i gotta force it like i gotta get this stuff out um and now i'm to the point where bro you gotta do it when it feels natural you gotta let it flow you gotta do it now i mean more so when you feel like it when you feel it you get what i'm saying so don't force anything, bro. It's not worth it. It's not worth it at all. Because what's gonna happen, like I said, it's, it's, it's not gonna be good music. And the whole point is to make good music. Secondly, I would tell y'all to make go buy some loop kits, bro. Go buy some sample packs. Go buy some new sounds that will get you inspired. I'm not saying they gotta be my sample packs or my loop kits, which would be cool, support your book, but they don't have to be, you know. Just go buy somebody's loop kits that you like or somebody's sample packs, you know, maybe they found some samples like some old school samples, just anything, bro. Anything new, something different, you know, and it will get your, your juices flowing. Rather than you sitting there with the same samples or you trying to make something from scratch and it's just like not nah, looking good, go buy something new. And what goes along with that, go buy some new drum kits, bro. Go get your, go get a new bounce. You know what I'm saying? I, like, I know a lot of people 
we all use the same drum they kind of derive from the same sounds but i know some unique drum kits out there with more so with the perks and the fx is like stuff like that i feel like is what really makes a great drum kit you know something different because we all got the same luger slap clap and the same old like that type of stuff bro so the perks and the fx's are really what make a good drum kit because you can you know change up the bounce different transitions and stuff like that so make sure you're on top of that and another thing bro i'll tell y'all to read bro like i know y'all probably like bro read what is he talking about read bro i just started uh really getting into it and um it just opens your perspective up i mean i know a lot of us producers like i said we young men y'all my age or younger tell you read bro read 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 if y'all are interested in that just hit me up like yo what do you be reading and stuff and i'll tell you but um another thing bro is for, for just meditation yo start meditating bro for literally you can meditate for 10 minutes a day it clears your head and i would prefer y'all to do it like outside where you could really like be one with nature and everything like i'm telling you after you meditate and you just breathe this focus on breathing you go back and sit in that chair and look at the dog and you just like bro like wow like i'm in it like you just feel it reinvigorated bro like you just feel inspired you feel I don't know what that was, but that was weird. But you just feel good, bro. I'm telling you, you're gonna come back to the dog and feel great. You're gonna come back to the dog and feel like you're trying to make the next uh, hit of a lifetime. You feel me? That's just a few, um, you know, tips, bro. Like this uninspired B block thing. It's all temporary. You know, we can't let that phase us. We we on a greater mission right now, bro. We're on a greater mission. So uh, this is our passion. This is what we really want to do and we can't let nothing like like block that bro this is what this is what we want to do you feel me so like i said man make sure you uh you uh try to implement these make sure you like comment subscribe i'm out of here man